hello there, Weavers. Welcome back to an episode of Dreaming with Flo. For today's episode, right, we will be sharing with you guys on a very crazy update on the new 25 innovative marine tank. So recently I have done quite a big updates on the tank. So we will bring you through on all the major stuff that we've been doing for this tank. So we've actually done up a new skate for the tank. We have been adding in new lights. So you guys will be seeing new lights, new skate, new corals in this tank. So without further ado, right, before I show you the current tank at the back right now, I will give you guys a flashback on when I first started up the skate. So let's start the flashback. So hey there, Reefers. So today we actually will be changing up a skate for the 25 gallon. So the reason why I'm doing this is because as usual first time when you do a skate right you don't really like the look of your skate so what I feel that currently right now is a bit too cluttered there's too many things going on you see it's too tight in this whole area here so being a lagoon tank right I've always seen people doing a very minimalistic skate so basically like there's very minimal stuff minimal scaping here and there so Recently, I had the time to actually go ahead and do another skip for this tank. So, I've gotten all the equipments, all the rock that I needed, and then I will be re taking out everything, all the corals, and taking out all the rocks, and then after that, I will add in this new skip into it. So, a little walkthrough from this old skip to the current skip, right? The current skip is very simple, it's a lot more cleaner and open. So. I've done up everything here from plate rocks and then to little small rocks, like little small boulders to platform it up. So as we enter the house, like same thing, I want it to be from high to low. So this is why my high point is over here at the end of the tank and then it drops down to a bit of the lower area on this side. So I try to create like a couple of valleys going around the tank and then at the same time um, there are a couple of different feature rocks where there will be a couple of different stuff going on here so probably over here I'll do like a small LPS area here where like all my hammers will be in this area then this section here will be for another different type of corals and then to the back here this full skip down um, something else so I have really no idea what to put in this section here um, I will only be able to decide once I actually put this skip in and then just to see how much space I have in between before I actually decide what to do with all this skip. So how I actually built all this skip up right is instead of using epoxy or something very constructive like um, reef party and all right, I actually only managed to do all these seams and everything with coral glue. So this is um, a brand that I am using. So it's Premium Aquatic Gel, so this is actually um, given to me by Reef Market SG. So Nigel hooked me up with this new aquatic gel that they have. So I use gel or glue on rock works is because they, I don't want it to be a very permanent structure. So if in case if any time or when, when I add in, if I need to change or what, then it's easier to break off from coral glue than epoxy. So this is why I always use this as my first hardening scape first and then if I really like the whole scape then in water I will use the epoxy because the epoxy is easier to do in water and compared to coral glue if you do it in water it tends to harden up a lot faster so once this is done in the water if I really want to like, enforce all these joints here and there right I can actually get epoxy and then just epoxy all the seams and everything to make it a firm structure but right now it's pretty hard everything here it's all very secure so I really don't know how it turned out but then it should be a much cleaner look and the height is actually a lot shorter the thing I had about this previous scape is I did not really calculate the height of my two spin stream at the back so it's actually very high up to the back there and it somehow really defeats the purpose I cannot really put a lot of corals at the back there due to like the space over there is maybe about 3 cm tall only so for this tank being a lagoon style i make everything shorter this highest point here is maybe 
about 15 to 20, about 15 to 18 cm tall only. So that leaves me quite a good space on top to actually add more corals into it. So I want to make it very simple, a very clean look for this tank. And this is why I only make my structure like this. So hopefully once I put it in, right, I will give you guys another update on the whole tank filled with corals. And then we, from there on, right, we will see how it actually look underwater. But for now, I'm pretty happy with how the skip turns out. It's looking very nice. As in something that I would really love to put into the tank. So right now, I'm just going to tear down everything over there. It's going to be tedious, but thankfully, I don't have much stuff there yet. So it's easier to remove everything. So without further ado, I will go ahead and do that. And then I'll give you guys a time lapse on the entire tear down to putting this in. So let's head over to the 25 gallon and let's start working. flashback of the entire scape right so you guys have been noticing that I've done quite a lot of different stuff to the tank so the tank right now actually looks a bit more open up it's more like a lagoon compared to a reef tank kind of scape so the next thing that we change on the tank right is I actually change out the lights for the 25 gallon so I used to run on two of the AI Prime HD but then um, if you guys have noticed on the market recently, right, they have been adding in a lot of newer products like the Hydra, the Aqua Illumination actually came out with the Hydra 32, the 64 and the new Prime. And then at the same time, Ecotech just launched the new Radeon Gen 5. So I was actually talking to Reef Market SG, um, I was actually talking to Nigel last week on getting a new light for this tank. So I was actually contemplating between the Hydra 32 and the new Ecotech Gen 5. So before I actually decided to choose on either one of that, right, Nigel from Reef Market SG actually did comment that they have another product. It's a brand that is manufactured in China and they have been using it on various of their tanks. They have been selling it to different shops and there is even customers that actually been using this light. So I was a little bit skeptical in front at first because being a Singaporean, right, um, we tend to be a little bit more brand conscious on stuff. Maybe it's just me, I'm a little bit more brand conscious. I only go for things like with a proper branding. So I was a bit hesitant at first, but then Reef Market SG actually, Nigel actually just hooked me up and said, hey, why not give it a try, right? We pass you one. So they actually passed me one of the larger units. If I'm not wrong, it's the R80 by Intellig Intelligent Oceans or something. I can't remember what's the brand of it, but the model name is the R80 um, LED lights. So they've been saying that they've been hearing a lot of good reviews about it and they want me to give it a try on the 25 gallon and I will give you guys a very honest feedback on how I feel about the lights. So before we actually install them on, right, let's take a look at the entire packaging what is in it, how we install and everything on the light and then we will give you a back to back on the comparison between the Aqua Illumination and the R80 that is actually being um, passed to me by Reef Market SG. So without further ado, we head over to the lights and I will show it to you guys on the entire unboxing of the lights over here. Alright, so we are here at the 
the box that it came with the R80 model. So this is actually included inside the box, but then I've actually assembled this beforehand. So it's the, they come in two different models. They have it with the frame. So this is actually for you to just put it onto your tank. And then they also have the hanging kit. Um, the typical kind of reefers that I don't really like hanging kits is because I don't like to drill things. I'm not really a very DIY person, so I don't tend to do drills and holes that well. So usually I always prefer to just get something like this and then I can just mount it onto the tank. So I'll put this aside and then we will move over with the entire box. So the box itself comes with all of the the models and stuff that is going on. So it's the R series reef LED like so yeah it is by Intelligent Ocean. So basically inside here they give you a, a manual on all the stuff that, that you need to. So the cool thing about this right it's actually it runs on an app on its own. So it's like a full interface done by the company. It's pretty simple. As we open it up, right, so we have the entire box here with the power bar, the plugs, and then the screws that I used to screw on the mount. And then we have the actual light product over here. So before I actually got this whole packaging, right, I was expecting like the quality, the finish to be not very good because it's like a it's supposed to be a China brand, but then apparently when I first opened up this box, right, the finish itself really surprises me. Okay, so whatever I'm going to tell you guys, right, is a very honest opinion. So it's not being paid on anything. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to give you what I feel. So the entire light itself felt very sturdy. So it's pretty simple. It's the, yeah, it's the intelligent. R80 model with a little small LCD or LED display here and then with the mode button that you can press. So we talk a bit about the finish. So the finish is pretty nice. It's not plasticky feel. It doesn't give you that very plastic feel to it. It's a very nice matte finish to it and it's actually really nicely done by the brand. And over here, you can see it actually has like two clusters of the LED dials. So they do come with the full spectrum as well. They have, um, I'll show you guys on what, how many LEDs are there in each cluster, but they have two of it. And then at the back is just pretty simple. It just shows you like the, the entire set like this. So it's pretty simple. And then after that, you just got to screw on the screws over here. So basically you just need to like put on these four screws here, screw it on to the main holder and then just plug everything in. You should be ready to go. So I've not started up this yet. It comes with an app so I need to install the app, install this. Okay, first I need to take down the two AIs over here. So I need to remove these two, put on the bracket, put on the light and then after that set it up with the the app through the phone and then at the same time once I'm done with that um, I will give you guys a full um, breakthrough on what I feel compared to the color spectrum difference between the AIs and the this RAT model that um, Rift Market passed to me so before we actually start up with a time lapse of the installation of this right Let's move over and I will show you guys a more detailed comparison of an underwater shoot under the two AI Prime. In this, okay, this is just running on full blues, the darker blues, the violets, and the purples. That's it. There's no whites currently in this tank. So I will give you guys a more close up underwater footage of the corals, how the coral colors are with the two AI Primes first. And then after that, we will do the installation. And then after that, I will walk you through, guys, again on the tank with the new light 
and then another close-up shot on the same corals same light spectrum and then to give you guys a full comparison on this video so without further ado let's head over to the up close video and then after that the time lapse video let's move on So it's been about a week since I've installed the RAT onto the 25 gallon. So the reason why it's been one week after then I give you guys an update was because when I installed this light, right, I was actually at the brim of flying off to another country. So when I installed this light, I installed it late at night and then after that the next day or so I need to fly off. And I'm just back and there are a couple of things that I will update you guys on. And there are a couple of things that I actually screwed up on my own self but then it's my fault it's not really the light fault it's just a couple of things that I've done wrongly that I will share with you guys and I will really tell you guys do not do it like how I did it previously so before we actually talk about what I screwed up on right let's talk about the light and how I actually feel about the entire light so the light itself is very simple it's pretty easy pretty straightforward to set it up it has the mount over here and then after that it's just a couple of screws here and there all you gotta do is just Follow the instructions, screw everything on, it's just straightforward, it's easy to work with. I go with the the tank mount because I didn't really want to hang stuff onto the ceiling. I'm not a very good person when it comes to DIY, so I prefer it this way. And it's very easy. So you've seen in the video earlier, right? I've actually talked about the the hardware itself. It's a pretty sturdy product, it looks really good, really durable, it looks nice, and everything looks really perfect. So once you get the light turned on and everything right, all you gotta do is just connect this to the app, which I will show it to you guys on my phone. So all you gotta do is just download the app itself. It's the INLED app. So inside here, so this light is actually a built-in Wi-Fi. So all you gotta do is just connect to their Wi-Fi and you are able to, to just use the app and connect all the different various channels that you want in the tank so you can actually see over here I can just adjust everything and I can get all the spectrum dust and it has an auto feature so you can actually plot your graph for your tank and then set in an automated mode right here on top there's like a manual button which I'm showing you guys now and then there's an auto button here that actually shows you straight into the tank in the auto mode and then you can actually run the 24 cycle for your reef tank so that is where I screwed up on. But then before I tell you guys on what I screwed up on, right? The app itself, pretty straightforward, it's damn easy to use. You just gotta connect this to the the built-in Wi-Fi here and then you are good to go. You just once it's connected, right, you auto select, you'll find your your unit, which is my unit is here, and then after that you are able to adjust the light just then and then. So go to the automatic mode and then just plot the graph, it will be in ready. That is that simple. I just press it automatic mode and then it's just in my previous setting from then on. So it's pretty straightforward. You will see over here there's a little LCD screen here that shows you on what are the intensity of the light right now. So there's like white, greens, red, the blues, 
and then the UV violets, the deep blues, yeah. So all is over here. You can actually see what current percentage it is right now, and then it will show you the whole light spectrum for that particular setting that you guys have. So it's a very straightforward light. There's really not many bells and whistles that you need to to look out for. There isn't really a lot of like instructions here and there. There the the good thing about this is that it's damn simple to set it up, and because for people like me who do a lot of videos, right? I always need to change my light spectrum here and there. So this is pretty straightforward. I just hook it up. I can change to the ideal video settings for you guys. And then I'm just able to just get my camera and start rolling already. So it's a lot easier compared to the AIs that I have on all the previous things. The AI works the same way, has the app and everything. But then I do have an issue with... Because you have to connect the app to your home Wi-Fi and then home Wi-Fi to the the device so it like it's like a bridge thingy which sometimes it just lose the connection there or this is a very straightforward phone to inbuilt wi-fi i'm able to control it straight away so it's pretty simple damn easy to use and then it's just straightforward so i really like the app i really like the build it looks very clean the r80 is the bigger model it covers the entire 25 gallon spread it's a very very powerful light why i'm saying this is because this is one part that why i screwed up on so before we go to there, right, I know you guys want to know what went wrong, but then I will share with you guys once I'm done with this. So the spread itself is really good. It looks nice. The spectrum is good. I really like the blues on this tank on the light. The LED clusters are really, really strong. And I'm kind of very impressed by how much power they can actually pull up from this tank build. So overall, I will say that it's a very good product. It's pretty affordable. It's very nice. They come in two sizes. They have the smaller one, Cluster R60, and they have the bigger one, R80 over here, which I highly recommend if you guys have a bigger tank. Like go for a couple of R80 sets. Or at the same time, if you want to have a smaller nano tank or so, the R60 should be suitable for you guys as well. So the last part, let's talk about what happened and what I screwed up on. So I've mentioned this before, right? I've actually set up the light just before I fly it off. So to all you guys out there, right? That is one wrong, wrong move to do. You shouldn't be setting any new equipment before you fly it off or you will not be seeing the tank for a very, very long time. So that's one mistake that I had. I was pretty eager to set it up and I thought that it's just light, nothing will happen, but then I was really wrong. So what happened was when I set this light up, right, the R80, right, I did not really thought of the intensity of the light compared to the previous two AI primes that is on this tank. So if you guys seen the previous AI primes, right, they were about this high up. And then for the R80, it's actually only about this low. And the spectrum-wise, the PAR rating, right, the R80 actually puts up a lot more PAR compared to the two AI primes that I previously have. So I didn't really put that into consideration. And when I was plotting the graph that night, right, what I did was I actually just follow the exact same on the AI prime. I set this intensity to about the same thing as the AI primes. I just leave it there for a week and I left for my work trip. And then when I come back, right, a couple of things that I've noticed that which I really regret not checking before I leave. So firstly, when I set the intensity of the light, I set it at the same. So this being a stronger light, right, it actually puts out a lot more. So a couple of my corals, especially those that's very low light demanding corals, like my blastomosas, right, tend to be the one that's very affected the most. So I put my blastomosa somewhere over here, right, below the, the light itself so it's pretty much being burned out by the lights and when i came back right most of my blasters are actually pretty bleached out so i had to really adjust that and the second thing that happened was i had a huge algae bloom so i wasn't i wasn't here for the entire week i just not much tlc to the tank so with a stronger light output what happened was the hair algae actually went straight up so i have like a huge lots of hair algae on the other side of the tank which i'm still trying to bring it back down again so what i did was when i first came back home i immediately went back to the light app and then i actually brought down the intensity to the light from the previous 100 percent for blues and then the 25 percent for white i brought it down to about 80 percent blues and about now it's only maximum at 20 percent white so a lot of my corals actually do respond better all of them actually doesn't look that bleach out, doesn't look that angry compared to when I first leave them there. So this actually proves a couple points that this is actually a very, very strong light, which I didn't really thought of. And 
the height difference there really did it was really my fault on that part that i did not really thought of it so it's nothing to do with the light as many my fault and for you guys out there this is one tip for you guys if you guys are actually going overseas right regardless if you are changing a schema a reactor anything into your filtration system right do not do it the day when you guys are leaving your tank for a very long time because whenever you deal with changes to your tank right there will always be some fluctuations here and there so if you are not there to rectify that and you just leave it on and on and on right what happens is that you may come back with a very catastrophic um, event so like for me itself I did beach burn out a couple of my corals which is kind of sad to me but then that's just part of the hobby we are here to share with you guys the good the bad about this hobby trade and things that that I experienced so that you guys do not need to go through the same thing that happened to me so we talk a bit more about the tank and the light so my overall verdict for this R80 light right it's pretty simple I like that it's simple it's easy to work with they come with either the hanging kit or the tank mount and it's pretty easy to set up it's not that complicated like you need to connect to your house Wi-Fi so far and so on they do have that feature there but then because it's in Chinese and I couldn't really understand much of Chinese so that's why I forgo that and I just went straight to connect to the in-built Wi-Fi and then just show you you've seen the app just now just go into the app you're able to plot that graph like what you guys did with your AI lights and your Ecotech products it's damn straightforward to use when it comes to the app itself so it's pretty damn forward so it's a very simple app you can change it to auto to manual so forth and so on so it's a really very easy light to operate with the overall spectrum is good you have all the different spectrums you have they have blues deep blues they have the rbg and then after that they have uh, your violets as well so they even have like cool whites and warm whites so the cluster is actually pretty strong they do come with a full spectrum of the LED lights which I really like and I kind of really like the blues on this tank right now so it's actually a very good recommendation for you guys and the price point of it is actually a lot cheaper than your other brands so if you guys are not really that brand conscious you guys don't really want to spend so much money on a very expensive light right you guys can always consider this first before you guys even want to upgrade to something else like the AI or the Ecotech in the near future give this a try if you guys want to move up the level to a good coral growing like give this a try give this intelligent ocean a try and then after that from then on if you guys are very comfortable with this then you can move on to other products so forth and so on but then i will end this whole thing here with just saying that my verdict for this is actually it's a pretty good like a couple of things to take home from easy to set up the app is good there isn't really much that i would say about it the hardware wise it's apparently very sturdy material wise it's good it looks very nice it's not flimsy it's not doesn't look like you'll break off anytime the stand is made of metal so it's kind of very nice hard look to it so i don't like the floppy floppy kind of very flimsy that anytime it will just drop in my tank kind of material so this is actually a very sturdy product which i really liked a lot and the bad point about it is um, I would say that okay the app still needs a couple of updates so but that, that's a software issue it's not about the light so if I would prefer the graph to be a bit more easier to use and like I've using the AI graph you guys know it's damn simple to, to plot out your thing this itself is also damn simple but then yeah you have to do it in like an hour and hour and hour or it's just my fault that I don't really know how to use it but for me I feel that the AI software is actually a lot more detailed compared to this but as but this damn straightforward to connect so one thing i really like about that so that's my entire overall and about the uh, the 25 gallon major upgrade the scape the corals and the new r80 that is currently showing to you guys so and it's over here with a big thanks to reef market sg for passing me this like to give it a try before i actually move on to the ai or the ecotech gen 5 in the near future so I may be doing another review, another product review on depending on what I will get. So I have really no idea whether I will go for the the AI Hydra 32 or why I go for the Ecotech Gen 5. So if you guys have a recommendation, right, leave in the comment below on which light should I really give it a try apart, apart from this and then after that I will give you guys another product review from then on. But then big thanks to Nigel, Reef Market SG, Singapore Reef Club for actually hooking me up with this light. 
I really like it a lot. I really do recommend to you guys out there who wants to try something that simple. And then at the same time, we will be showing with you guys the next upcoming video for next week. Right? It's going to be a little bit special. It's something very new and it's not something that we have done before. It's something very, very different. So a little small teaser for you guys. It's very, very similar. Okay, it's aquascape, but it's going to be a very different type of aquascaping. It's something that we have never tried in the studio before. It's something very new. It's just right behind us right now, but then I will not show it to you guys until next Sunday's video. If you guys want to know what is it about, right? Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and then like this channel. And at the same time, right, next upcoming Sunday will be a very interesting video. It has a little bit of a store tour, a full aquascape tank build, and then after that, it will show you the end product of the tank. And it's not just done up by me, but a couple of my fellow friends. So it's very interesting, and it's also my first time doing it as well. It's my first time stepping out of the comfort zone to show you guys something very different. But till then, right, do stay tuned to the channel. Lastly, big thanks to Reef Market SG for the like, and as well as the whole scape, so far and so on. I really do like the 25 gallon right now. So for you guys who are watching this, right, if you like the video, share it out. If you guys want, to get a set of the R60, R85, I've left a comment, a link below on where you guys can actually purchase the light. And if you want to know more about the light, where do you go to to get more information? It will be all in the link below. But till then, we'll see you guys next Sunday, same time, and I will see you guys real soon.